Good evening. The state television company Westerner Minya represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the blossoming almond trees of Akhtamar Island. International society condemns dictator Aliyev. International Earth Day to be celebrated in Akhil Kalaki. The last Armenian house in Mush resists the housing development department. Greece says Turkey's accusations are ridiculous. Adana project has published the Arax video. Garni with colorful lightning. President of the Republic of Western Armenia referring to military trophy park in Baku. Akhtamar Island, located in Lake Van, Western Armenia, got a unique look with the spring awakening thanks to the blossoming almond trees. Spring is one of the most beautiful periods in Akhtamar Island. The island creates an amazing view with its flowering trees and the blue Lake Van. International journalists reached with indignation and disgust to the opening of the so-called Trophy Park, which President Ilham Aliyev attended. The smug expression on the face of the Azari leader, who was boldly walking on the background of the helmets of Armenian soldiers, evoked an association with Hitler and Saddam Hussein. It's not surprising that so many Azari soldiers recorded themselves committing brutal war crimes. This kind of depravity is encouraged and celebrated at a state level. Investigative journalist Lindsay Snell said, This is nuts. BuzzFeed News correspondent Christopher Miller wrote, This is what war criminals look like, not the winners. Azerbaijani President Aliyev has built his own amusement park in Baku. Helmets of Armenian soldiers, candle dolls in Armenian uniforms and the shop. I'm sick. German film director and human rights activist Dunes Tekal said, the government of Western Armenia also expresses its indignation in this regard, condemning Aliyev's action. With this fact, the president of Azerbaijan proves once again what disgusting consequences, impunity and arrogance can have. Tree planting will take place on the occasion of Earth Day on April 22 in Akhil Kalaki, JNews.GE reports. IZ Company has promised to help the municipality of Akhil Kalaki with seedlings. The company is building Akhil Kalaki HPP-1 and Akhil Kalaki HPP-2 in Akhil Kalaki. The latter promised to provide the municipality with 200 seedlings, 20 Christmas trees and 50 bibs. The planting sites have already been decided by the Akhil Kalaki Service Center. According to the director of the service center, Armen Bichakchan, 20 silver sprouts will be planted in Khazbakcha and 200 pine seedlings on both sides of Vachan Road. All the houses in the old Armenian district of the city of Mush, western Armenia, were demolished as a result of the cooperation between the municipality and Mass Housing Development Administration, and the residential building was built in their place. Although department officials made occasional efforts to demolish the house, Ersan Chete did not allow it to happen. Before the massacre of 1915, there were structures that Armenians left in Mush, densely populated by Armenians, which are also being destroyed. Noting that he was left alone in the fight against destruction and did not hear his voice, Chete said that after a while he could register the house as a historic building. Let us know that the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamyan, has visited the house and has met with the owner during his trip to Western Armenia. Greece has criticized Turkey for accusing Athens of harboring terrorists ahead of Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias' scheduled visit to Ankara this week. The timing of the appearance of such absurd and unfounded statements is questionable, the Greek Foreign Ministry noted. Earlier, a spokesman for the Turkish presidential administration, Bahreddin Altun, posted a video on Twitter claiming that Greece was helping terrorist organizations, the Kurdish Workers' Party. The rock band Adana Project, which develops and presents ancient or forgotten Armenian ethnographic folk pop songs in a new way, has presented the video of the song Arax. This video was shot by the Adana Project for the Armenian Summer Virtual Festival in London, which aimed to raise money for families displaced from Artsakh, the group reported via Arman Press. The director of Garni Reserve Museum, Vahe Spidian, posted photos of the Reserve Museum at night on his Facebook page and wrote, Dear visitors, Garni Historical Culture Reserve Museum is open every day, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Visit Garni. Enjoy the beauty of the monument. A so-called exhibition park related to the Second Artsakh War of September-November 2020 was opened in Baku today, on April 12, 2021. In the park, along with the Armenian military equipment, many queens of the Armenian military servicemen have been displayed, 
all of which presented in a degrading manner, in a manner violating human dignity. The presented photos and videos prove that every sample displayed in the park has a tendency to desecrate the memory of the victims of the war, to deepen the hatred and enmity between the people of Azerbaijan and Armenia. The opening of such a military park aimed to drive the Armenian people to despair, to create an atmosphere of fear, to spiritually weaken the families of the missing and captives, and the Armenian society, and to show its power. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamyan, will respond to the photos and videos spread on social media after a deep analysis. Now we present you Nubar Ensemble. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.